Hi, welcome back to another pick a card reading. This one is for general messages, so it's not intended for a love message, but you may get a love message here. The um, piles have timestamps which are in the description box below along with the cards that I'm reading. And just a little heads up, next week I might not be able to put a video out, but the following week I should be back. So I hope you enjoy your reading. Hey, and welcome to your reading if you chose group number one. <clears throat> so I'll jump straight in with the charms. <clears throat> now these did come up reverse and I, I flip them the other way as well because I just don't want to discredit them because they are, <clears throat> in my opinion, I don't know, profound, more profound messages. I don't know, some of them feel lighter than others and this is a um, Empress Queen of Pentacles type energy, some, something very... Um, <sighs> The, all of these combined, I'm seeing like serious um, leveling up, sort of like perhaps a pivotal moment, perhaps soul contracts ending, um, people coming in and out perhaps, uh, like, well, we have got the retrograde, there could be people returning from the past, old contracts that you made and you just <clears throat> maybe have had to um, get some closure or... or um, yeah, that may have been the case, but those also... Are, something that you're creating or something that you're building here <clears throat> that sort of message <clears throat> so blocked so um, yeah with the with the owls facing down as well and the abundance here it's almost like there's some sort of wisdom that's been coming to you that may bring you abundance or is the next step forward and you might have uh, been ignoring that for a while for whatever reason or just not listening to your own intuition there. That may be the case. Um, a couple of others that came out I feel were kind of separate is we have this beautiful bell. So that is talking about blessings, um, you know, good news coming in. We have um, the peg, so uh, getting to work. We have a... The Eight of Pentacles here as well, that sort of grounded energy, doing the mundane things to build what it is that you're building. Another intricate, you know, etching in the fine carving of, of the creation that you are or that you are creating. Um, it's that craftsmanship and getting to work. And um, this can be a talk of travel with the plane or move, but movement forward and perhaps flying, lifting yourself up out of a situation. And, and I also would take this as if somebody has passed... Um, a message that they are with you and guiding you. Uh, this is very significant for past loved ones as well. Um, yes. So, starting, <laughs> jumping into the cards now. I'm still getting used to my charms, so enjoy the ride with me. Um, we have the Ace of Pentacles and Three of Wands. So this is, yeah, a brand new chapter you've brought yourself to. Something... Um, may have ended for you or shifted for you to be at this point there is in the um, challenge section i'll come straight to it we've got the star reversed in the sun so there, there may have been have hit a, a delay or some kind of setback uh, or a disappointment in in the plan something that hasn't worked out how you may have wanted it to uh, and this may have caused you to wait or slow down the uh, movement forward uh, we've got retrograde in here too that's slowing us down there's a lot of things going on in the world COVID and whatnot and who knows how that affects you, but it may not even be that. It may be something else. And this is also a talk of expansion. Um, yeah. Um, and I just feel like you're, like, perhaps your purpose is becoming clearer or there's some sort of epiphany in, and, um, in the direction that you need to go. Like, there's a huge, I just feel like, yeah, a huge pivotal crossroads sort of energy with the Three of Wands in this new direction. Like, it, it, perhaps it's a new idea, a new business idea or something you want to bring to life. Um, but there's just this uh, real knowing of the direction you need to go. Um, there. So, yeah, and, and, and as I said, the challenge being the star reverse perhaps there was something that um you'd hoped for that didn't come to be or it may be that um there's some sort of setback uh in the beliefs though we have the chariot the six of wands and the prince of wands knight of wands 
this is really, really good energy. You know, you know that you are powerful and you are creating something, I feel, that will help a lot of people, perhaps, that could be the case that you're delivering a message. You could be somebody who uh, helps guide other people or on a stage or, like, in the limelight here, assisting others or directing people or, like, driving things forward and... Um, just passionate and going for it and you know that fire in your belly if it's been dampened right now or slowed down or whatever you know it's still there and you can ignite it again that may be the message for you um and also you know that when you finally do take these steps to move forward and um things start rolling for you you know it's going to be successful you'd have a vision you see it you know it it's just like there's no doubt about it whatever setback i feel like the the message in the setback is that there's a it, it's the victory that you've overcome the challenge um and it's happened for you not to you always right so um in the root of the issue we've got literal roots <laughs> seven of pentacles literal roots here and the ten of pentacles so um this is exactly it working on the the true roots of your of what you're um creating with in self-perception as well there's the four of pentacles that very grounded um, foundational work it's it's the it's perhaps behind the scenes stuff it's really dedicating your time into what you're creating and knowing and trusting and just chipping away and showing up and um, in the root of the issue here you just you you know it's just it's a matter of tending to the roots and you know you just know it's going to be successful you know it's going to grow into the ten of Pentacles this you know it's a legacy it's gonna um, it's gonna make a difference what it is that you're doing is going to make a difference. You do make a difference. You, um, yeah. Uh, in the recent past, we have four of swords and the moon. Um, clarified with the princess of swords and the nine of discs in patch. So, yeah, you may have needed to take a step back and, and take some rest or it could have may even be an indication of sickness or just overworked needing to take rest there with the four of swords or some sort of um oh, it, could, it could be um just overloaded in the mind space as well but they just uh, could there's something very heavy about the setback maybe it's been really hard for you to accept and um yeah there's, there's a lot of um, going going through your emotions at the moment. This is a very internal, deep, deep energy, like so meditative and, um, yeah, like going through this deep process, like a, in, like a cl cleansing on the inside. Maybe some, a lot of old memories might be popping up or you might be, there may be some triggers happening at the moment to, to do with... Um, this the setback or to do with uh your what was it in this term? to do with yeah it's a setback energy it's whatever some sort of blockage that you can move through and you will move through it's very interesting with the nine of discs as well and they, they could also um i don't want typically want these to be a love reading this is general but it could be um to do with uh, a recent breakup and that the nine of pentacles is that you are single now and you're taking that rest and really feeling um really feeling those deeper emotions that come through a releasing process but um i will try and keep it away from relationships because that's for tuesday <laughs> Um, so in the near future, we have the hanged man and the ten of pentacles. So you have more, um, contemplation and meditation, uh, in regards to what it is that makes you happy and feel fulfilled. What is like the, the bigger picture here, you're really looking at that bigger picture. We've also got, um, the wheel of flow, the seven of pentacles and from the holy arcana of this deck um the light so it is a, truly about you seeking this light from within there's this deep deep process a deep cleansing on the inside um and like ready to get to work ready to 
show up and do the hard yards if that applies um, ready to get to it and um, not let the setback hold you down or make you sink down or anything but truly just lift back up again and know that yeah, the victory is in overcoming the challenge um, and there's this uh, reinvestment energy I guess here with the seven of pentacles wheel of flow it's it's totally it, you're choosing to move things forward again you're lifting yourself back up again there's a lot of revelation coming through um, we've got the hangman. We did all, all this internal work and cleansing is bringing you the wisdom that you desire and, and need to move forward. Trust the process, even if it's really painful right now or at times. Self perception. We have four of pentacles, wheel of fortune, again, and the ace of wands. We've two aces now. Wheel of fortune twice. So you know it's big change, this is pivotal stuff, new chapters coming in, something closing out, needing to protect yourself perhaps, needing to save money or work on that foundation, the mundane work sort of thing. Um, and, and look after yourself and keep your energy to yourself, like not overexpending. Uh, and you know, we've got this Four of Swords energy as well in that recent past. So yeah, continuing to take care and slow down maybe. We've got this desire though to move forward with it with something that you're creating or a new passion at the beginning in one way or another ace of pentacles as well something um yeah you're grounding some sort of uh, some sort of manifestation and you know it you you know you know it even if there has been a, you just know it even if there's been a setback it's you're still gonna kick ass <laughs> all right so in the way others may be perceiving you this could be other people one person whatever we've got the five of cups four of cups so if, if a sense of um apathy perhaps and loss and a setback that same sort of energy i've talking about before it's um you are feeling a, a sense of loss or grief here perhaps but also there's this a self-sufficient abundance somebody who can rise themselves up out of anything and somebody who can truly um yeah they just create their own magic it's just such a powerful person i remember as i was pulling these cards i went through so many different feelings like at first it was this disappointment but then it was a huge uplifting and i'm like yeah this is a powerful person i'm reading for but it dipped back down into so i feel like it may be ebbing and flowing for you um in the advice we've got eight of pentacles get to work get to work you know blessings are coming you're creating your own blessings you've got abundance coming in we've got that citrine there and it comes from your guiding wisdom you know which way to go um we've got the hermit we've got so much introspective cards here really allow yourself the time to do that if, if it's that's what's calling to you the advice is hermit you know the advice is to take your step back and to balance yourself out here from maybe overexerting yourself and overworking with the eight of pentacles and and needing to time out and rest filling your own cup all that sort of stuff um cleansing and, and healing and taking time out yeah definitely um <laughs> so yeah with with there's some juggling there's maybe a decision that needs to be made as well here to do with work or a direction in work i feel like that decision may have already been made though because we've got this three of wands here and it's sort of like just waiting for expansion or waiting to start or um yeah in the outcome i love it i love it we've got the magician the justice and three of pentacles there is assistance there is cooperation around you or people that can help you or will help you um you are the master here with this beautiful magician and justice card you are and like the justice card right above the two of pentacles you are bringing justice to the situation if it applies you are um, creating balance and fairness for yourself as you move forward you are making sure that you only work in situations that are fair and equal and going to support your vision. You're, um, yeah, it's a, there's, when this came out reversed, um, I just heard that soul contracts are ending. So that may apply for you. There may be some, some sort of contract or something. It could be a literal contract that's ending. Um, yeah something you may have worked really hard on put a lot of effort into as well with this with this you know queen of pentacles type charm in reverse <laughs> um but there's a journey you need to go on now i feel that because it, maybe because of this there's this journey you need to go on and it's so it's so much to do with self-mastery there's so much here to do with your own advancement now i've got some oracles of course <laughs> we've got thunderbird 
um, transition, initiation, victory. You're meant to take a journey. It may be an inner or outer journey and you will have spiritual protection on your quest. Your current soul journey includes an experience of initiation. The challenge becomes a soul victory as you gain wisdom and awareness of your courage, strength and other inner resources. A new chapter will begin for you, signaling, signaling the time, the end of a time of struggle and the dawning of a more positive, successful chapter in your life. Open your heart and mind with optimism as a significant blessing and gift of grace is headed your way. And what did we say about a blessing? This is my blessing charm because the lady gave it to me for free. So I was like, oh. She's like, you can just have that. I'm like, well, I'm going to call that one blessing. Thank you so much. <laughs> anyway, I think I was more excited than she was. <laughs> What's new? Uh, we also have flower of feeling, <clears throat> compassion, emotional awakening and forgiveness. It may be forgiveness of self for falling into a situation. It may be forgiveness of the situation or the other people involved. But um, there is this ex expansion happening for you. You know the direct way forward now. Light is shining, coming in for you. Lifting you up, ready to start, ready to get going again. Um, and I've, I've got a bunch of crystal therapy cards. So maybe you want to work with these crystals or just take the message that they bring. We have tom, uh, watermelon tourmaline, which I'm pretty sure is a very expensive, beautiful crystal. But the message is joy, to, to let joy back in. <clears throat> Obsidian, cleansing, un uh, unblocking, but also cleansing and protection. Obsidian, um, removing negativity, that sort of stuff. So we've got joy. We're really, yeah, we're lifting. We need to lift up. We've got grounding with smoky quartz. <clears throat> Even just putting your feet on the grass, just grounding. Uh, and cleanse so yeah it really is it really is just self-care the, the, and just step by step sort of you know just keep going sort of message here today really it is just keep going you've got this just oh just just like feel it in the heart then oh that's right i wanted to also mention the bottom deck energies of these two decks we had pyrite which was awareness that's a fool's gold i think so Oh, yeah, and that's that to spoke to that expanded awareness and also the seal of evolutionary colors, progressive awareness, multi directional change. I'll just let those words sit with you progressive awareness, right? You know which way you're going now, you, you know which way you need to go to progress forward. And maybe it's a matter of releasing or accepting or just taking the steps, whatever. Yeah, okay, so I'll leave it there. I hope that gave you the clarity or comfort or guidance that you were looking for today. And I look forward to reading again. Um, not next week, but I think the week after. Next week I have family coming, so I think I'll be taking a week off. I might get one video out. I'm not sure yet. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you when I see you. Thanks. Hi, and welcome to your reading if you chose group number two. Um, and I will jump straight on in with the charms of this reading. So in this situation, we can see that there is a perhaps an attachment issue. We've got this um, sort of like this. It's like you are what I, the message I get with this is you are a whole and complete person by yourself. This is not intended to be a love reading It is general messages and I'll try and keep it that way. But it may apply for some people that this could be a love reading or, or some sort of situation where something heavy or some heavy situation or energy is wanting to attach itself to you and get into your your bubble, your circle, your um, to penetrate your beautiful aura. And I just feel like you just need to really um, keep yourself strong and clear and and like yeah, really look after yourself here and and keep maybe a bit of a lockdown. We've got the um, this dark elephant as well which does talk about sort of like shadow work or, or some sort of shadow element to the situation that may not want to be acknowledged it's sort of like the, the elephant in the room that we're all aware of it maybe but um not sure how to deal with it or it's maybe it's just that the situation is so elusive um it's just hard to gain clarity um we've got the dolphins in reverse so uh there may be that this was a very like joyful connection or situation and that is no longer than that it's not bringing you the same fulfillment or that there's just no pleasure or play or fun in like it's just this maybe it's sucking the fun out of you or that you're not able to enjoy the rest of life because of this situation um 
there's this just the opposite of friendship and you know it's the opposite of cooperation and um and working together which is what your i feel you know which i feel you is what your intentions are when you come together with somebody or a team or something you're you don't you don't i don't feel like you typically want to bring heavy energy in this is something that's from the outside yes as same as group one i'm so happy to see it we've got the beautiful bell so um this is the message of a blessing coming in um so it could be a abundance or good news or some sort of blessing is coming your way or maybe it's even just a message of hope um, that this is whatever change or, or situation is is uh, upon you right now um, is happening for the better. We also have this beautiful crystal, uh, like crystal, um, a charm that's it was reversed as well. So you know, typically this would be you in the center and all your guides and spirits and uh, angels and very angelic energy. This one guiding you and protecting you and but in reverse it's almost like maybe you feel like this situation shouldn't have happened or that you weren't guided correctly or that you're not being guided now like maybe there's a sense of being cut off and having to go through something hard alone um but that's yeah you're not alone here no way we've also got this heart it's sort of like this is open for interpretation this one and i feel like these are like perhaps you've put something around your heart to 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 block you to to protect yourself or something it's sort of like some sort of barrier there to um to keep something out and look after you and we've got also the beautiful amethyst uh so you know really listening to your intuition and that that's kind of all you've got at the moment in some cases i'm seeing here your intuition is really strong um so it's and it's almost like had it, so I, I, when I was partway through the cards somewhere here, I was just get this message coming from you, I feel. Um, like, how do I get myself in this situation again or at all? Like, shouldn't I know better or, or aren't, I, aren't, I, aren't I above this or, or something like that? How did I, what, really? You know, it was some, yeah, it was kind of a little bit of disbelief for the situation. So we'll go into the cards now. We've got the Seven of Cups. <clears throat> if I'm really quiet, can you let me know in the comments? I will endeavor to get a microphone soon. But yes, yeah, Seven of Cups, The Fool. We also have The Hanged Man in the Tower. So yeah, you are totally having to surrender to a situation that is out of your control. It's a pivotal moment, perhaps. There's not much information revealed. Maybe you're still seeking information about this. There's a lot, there's this elusive illusion type quality to it. You can't quite see it for clearly for what it is, maybe. Or, um, or there has been a situation that you haven't been able to see clearly for what it is. Uh, and and it, maybe it was posing as something else and it's since crumbled. We have the tower here. And you're having to just like go with the um, the changes here uh, and and sort of do your best with limited information perhaps or, or maybe having to start again in a sense or that it may be that there's so many different options in, in front of you that you don't know what to do and there's a bit of confusion there as well um, yeah really not sure how to move forward maybe just still in the in the chaos of it because the situation uh, we've got the tower so um some yeah some maybe maybe some information has been revealed that has caused uh caused that in the challenge we have the five of swords two of pentacles and seven of swords so yeah yeah there is a sense of of loss some sort of um conflict or, or battle that nobody is the winner here this has just been um really difficult and uncomfortable perhaps somebody has been um dishonest that could be the case here with the seven of swords that maybe um yeah there's just really un unsure how to move forward at this point or how to find balance or how to find justice or what to do next trying to um oh <laughs> trying to lift yourself up out of something because you know you know you know yeah you, you know that this that whatever this is um that's trying to affect you or get into under your skin or whatever it may be you know you're you're stronger than that and it's like yeah just okay i'm 
just move on <laughs> to beliefs. We have the Three of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Um, Ten of Cups and the Prince, uh, the Princess of Cups, so Page of Cups. And so you are well aware that you have so much to offer a situation, whether that's work and business or a friendship or a love relationship, whatever it is, you know you give your all. You have such a beautiful nature to bring to any any connection or any situation. It's like a gentle, calm, healing energy. We've got the Queen of Cups here once or twice. We've got Emperors here. We've got the Moon. We've got a lot of soft feminine energy. Page of Cups, Ace of Cups twice. But I think I only took it once because it, it was just confirming the Ace of Cups, right? Um, and you know that also the... You, I feel like you know the way forward now. Like, whatever the situation is that may have been difficult or, or a foundation that's crumbled that you thought was something else that just hasn't come to be or whatever it was, you, it's, it's given you the ability to move forward, whether you're ready to do that or not. It's given you the a, a, some sort of key or some sort of uh, understanding or awareness that you can move forward with. It's going to help you. It's happened for you. And it's also this... You're, I feel like there may be also, there could be a potential here that you're waiting for an offer here or waiting for, a, if this is a, a job, maybe you're waiting for some sort of situation or offer to come in. That could be the case here as well. Maybe you're waiting for an apology or maybe you're waiting for somebody or something to come in and deliver what is owed to you. That may be the case as well. In the root of the issue, we have the hanged man again. So this is very, like, retrograde. It's, um, you know, very internal, internal, deep, reflective energy at the moment. A bit of slowing down sort of stuff. Um, what did I have here? The Ten of Pentacles and the Chariot reversed. So, yeah, there could be some tension in um, which way to move forward. Fe like, feeling a bit uncertain about how to take the next step or what the next step may be or who's going to join you for that next step with the three of pentacles um, and what that looks like what equal what beautiful equal give and take looks like in connections and who's going to share your vision and um and, and drive it forward there's something about getting movement forward that it may, yeah there may have been some sort of delay or some sort of shift in perception because of whatever this is that's that's blown up or ended or, or no longer coming forward with you in, or whatever it is um, has caused a, a need to, to process and regroup and, and um, reassess. In the recent past, we have the Empress and the Moon, very feminine energy, two moons depicted here as well. We've got a lot of moons here. So... Um, this is intuition and deep emotions being guiding you through. Um, we also have, what was it? The Nine of Wands and the King of Wands in reverse. So, yeah, you may have, there may have been a situation where somebody was quite um, audacious or reckless in, um, in the, whatever the situation is. Uh, perhaps somebody was, yeah, completely reckless and that's, it's had a great effect where you've had to um, you've had to endure some sort of struggle, some sort of loss, some sort of confusion, trying to figure out the way forward, and not having very much information or something. It's just, whew, it's tricky to read. Somebody, yeah, there's been some, there's been someone challenging you, perhaps, or a situation, or a group of people, perhaps, challenging you. Um, challenging your vision or your, the way forward. I feel like it's caused you to grow in a big way, though. It, or it will cause you to grow. Like, there's huge purpose in this situation. Even if you don't see it right now, there is. In the near future, we've got the Justice and the Eight of Cups. It could be that you're having to walk away from a situation that's just not fair. Um, or you're bringing... I do want to believe when I, and when I first saw the Justice card, I felt this Queen of Swords energy where you are perhaps having to communicate and bring forward your own justice and stand up for yourself or, you know, say enough's enough and, and to walk away from what's not serving anymore. You're going to, I feel, yeah, rise up and get a bit of confidence. Um, in, that's in the near future. So tomorrow onwards, today onwards, whatever it may be. Um, I was going to, yeah, okay. Seven of Wands.
so yeah you've had to rise up out of something and walk away and it's going to take a lot of courage perhaps or um or if you haven't done it yet it's going to take yeah a lot of courage to to really lift yourself up out of the situation only you can do it only you can endure this and you've already been through so much there's you've got the empress here you're you are um you're so capable of this. You are so supported. This, again, is a reminder that your angels are around you. You are protected. And when you're asking for assistance uh, or in a situation that's not making you happy, you're going to be brought opportunities to lift yourself up out of that. And maybe you're not ready to make you ask for it, but it comes and you're like, oh, I don't want to take the leap. That may be the case as well. Um, but just know that these situations will continue to be offered to you. These these opportunities to lift yourself up out of something will continue to be offered to you. Um, because, yeah, your, your guides never leave you. They will not ever leave you. They just don't. Um, now, in the self-perception, we have Ace of Cups and the Six of Cups. So you have given your all to a situation here. You've been so understanding and compassionate and generous and loving like just i feel i was just like giving all my breath then like come on i've given my last breath i've given everything here we've had the three of swords and the seven of wands again right so you're having to protect yourself against heartache or some sort of betrayal or dishonesty or something that hasn't honored you something that has been heartbreaking or really difficult to move through a real big challenge you've been perhaps just totally taken advantage of here um it's yeah mm -mm. It's heavy. It's it's dark. It, it's not one you don't want to acknowledge. It. It's hard to accept, even perhaps. It's hard to break away from. But this is attachment energy. Oh, and then I put it down in the bell rings. And blessing is coming at you to lift you up out of this. Um, now, in perception, others how others are perce perceiving you. We have a mix of energy. Could be a one person. Could be numerous. We have the sun and the knight of cups so i feel like then if this is a romantic connection there is somebody keeping their eye on you and does want you doesn't want to be with you and romance you it could be a completely separate person to the heavy energy it could also be that heavy energy where this is not very grounded offerings that when they come in it's just romance and smoke and mirrors and it's not actually real and and you're wanting to end that cycle and walk away from that you're wanting to if that's romance anyway um yeah, you're wanting more balance, you're wanting fairness, you're wanting to just balance your, your intuition with your action, your masculine and feminine energy. You want to be, you want to, you want to take a step to, um, to, to be more whole. I don't know how to describe this. Oh. Yeah, you're walking away. People around you perceive you as somebody who brings so much joy into life and into situations. You like we've got this very strong Leo energy here. We have Le um, what do you call it? <laughs> Virgo energy here. We have Cancer, Pisces, Libra, and Taurus, <clears throat> and Scorpio. But yeah, we also have the water signs too. So um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio again. All of those were said anyway. Yeah, heavy, heavy water energy here, right? Yeah. Um, and we have, this, we have the sun card. You are somebody who brings a lot of joy and, and vibrance to to their day or to, to their life. Or, um, yeah, you're totally a, a magnetic, vibrant person. So this situation is... Um, <clears throat> <laughs> so <clears throat> in the action from spirit you've got the six of swords the knight of swords and the death card reverse so let go of the past release any sentimental attachment to this situation i feel that's the message here with the death card same with the six of swords this is taking yourself through something and leaving the emotional baggage behind leaving the attachment behind um very hard to do very hard to maybe even hear this message very hard to accept, do it, you'll do it when you're ready. Just because this reading comes through now and you know it's a truth that hits, you won't take your action until you're ready. And it may be right away, maybe now, maybe this reading gives you the strength to do that. Then it may be down the track and you're not ready. You know, maybe you're not ready today. That's fine. It doesn't matter. It's your path, your journey, your timing. You, the assistance will continue to come in as long as it's not making you happy and you want to be lifted out of something on a subconscious, deep inner level, like to your core. Your guards hear you. Even if you can't hear you. 
<clears throat> so just give yourself a break in that sense, if that applies. <clears throat> Need to communicate, right? So yeah, um, and so the advice here, move forward, move out of this situation, be determined for success, transform, like step into this transformation, step into this and release the past. Don't stay stuck in anything that's going to hold you back and from your growth and your full potential because whew, you are moving f towards this beautiful sun. The sun is who you are. You're moving closer to who you are. And again, this is reiterated in a huge way in the outcome. Like, whew, we have the king and queen of cups. So again, I'll just touch on if it was love, that this is an unhealthy connection, then trust that the right connection is coming in for you with this beautiful king and queen of cups. Absolutely. And sorry, ten of pentacles, right? There's a marriage with the right person, absolute soulmate. That is the outcome. Down the track, not the person. If that's anyway, out of love now, didn't want to read for love, but you just never know who's who's tuning in for whatever reason. But so predominantly, I see this as wholeness, a balance of masculine and feminine energy, and trusting your own ability to, to protect yourself uh, and and take those logical steps to protect yourself, but also be soft and know when to surrender and relax and, and go with your intuition as well. This is very intuitive, gentle, flowing with the uh, like feels of, of energy and nature and just like really even feeling, I just feel such a connected energy to wind and air and water and you know, that sort of, even though it is water sign, I just connected to the, um, to the elements and getting guidance through just the, the knowing how to tune into the sounds of light and things like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, like really a feeling person to <laughs> see here. Like an um, bottom deck energy was the magician, right? Oof. Turn it around. The magician. This is self-mastery in such a big way. This is huge. So the decision, the decision you made here to step forward is just such a huge, huge um, step towards progress for you, it's like towards wholeness, towards um, finding a perfect, beautiful balance and harmony and just a really high level stuff. We also have, to confirm all of that, the wheel of flow, wheel of fortune and star. Have faith in the path ahead. Have faith that you are being guided to a beautiful place um, and that this, whatever this is, this hardship is the, the victory is in overcoming it. This is happening for you, absolutely. This challenge is necessary. Um, it's so that you can truly know yourself better and what you're capable of. And yeah, so bottom... Ooh. Oh, no, not bottom deck yet. Um, I have a couple of oracle cards here. We have... From Wings of Wisdom, we have Turkey, confidence, harvest, good things ahead. I strut my soul, soul stuff in the world with confidence and charisma. So good things take time to grow and your time to shine will come. Practice gratitude and develop an abundant attitude because the universe wishes to bestow many blessings upon you. Know that you are worthy of receiving good things in your life. You have potential re uh, plentiful resources to share with others, so it is safe to enjoy giving freely to others. Be open to healing from past wounds around male energy connect with healthy pride and confidence to boost your esteem and give you give you the courage to and worth to apply yourself to your goals I feel like I need to read that last sentence again connect with healthy pride and confidence to boost your esteem and give you the courage and worth to apply yourself to your goals yes um, now we have Cosmic Calibrator, Universal Attunement, Repatterning and Guidance. And this is about lifting yourself up out of something to, um, it's like a recalibration is happening. Does that say that? Yeah, re Cosmic Calibrator. A recalibration is happening in your life. To, to like, It really is that same message of like you're asking for the help. You may think it's not happening or it's not there or this is a, like, why is this happening? It's happening so that you can go to where you need to be. Um, it's, it's a blessing. Universal attunement. Uh, and also bottom deck energy for that, for that one was, um, let me see what that one is too. Tranquility, patience and disillusion. I wanted to sh look at that for some reason. But anyway, 
So yeah, have patience with this situation. But though, yeah, the other one, bottom deck energy, was autonomy, self-fulfillment, and non-reaction, which is very much about going your own way and releasing from anything, like lifting yourself up out of something, not engaging in anything that's going to pull you down, but just non-reacting, non letting go, stepping back. Now we also have some crystal therapy cards. So you may want to work with these crystals or um, just the message that they bring. We have lapis lazuli, communicate. We have hematite, heaven and earth, which I <laughs> just feel with this king and queen of pentacles, right? It's that masculine and feminine energy. It's a beautiful, um, a beautiful balance. We have uh, black tourmaline, protection. So protection from heavy energies or things that hold you back. We have Amplify, Spirit Quartz, and that was all about protecting your aura and making sure that things aren't penetrating your aura, like really looking after yourself and, and keeping your, your surroundings clear, keeping the, what you feed yourself, whether that's information or music or shows or people or conversation, whatever it is, feed yourself with what's going to really nourish you. And Cutting Cords, which is uh, Kyanite. Kyanite? Sorry if I butchered that. Um, cutting cords, yeah, it's releasing needing to be done here. And the bottom deck energy, oh my god, bottom deck energy is healing wounds. And the next one I see after that is letting go aquamarine and chiastolite. What's next? Pyrite awareness, okay, yeah, letting go and healing wounds. All right, I feel like we've been told here. Um, yeah, this is this is sort of a different message to group one, but the the like a summary is the same in the sense that this is just to keep going, keep moving through this dark moment or this this challenge because you are coming out on the other side. You are coming. You this is yeah. This is for expansion. This is for you. Um, trust the path ahead, and and that good things are coming. I mean, the the bell came out in that reading as well. Trust your intuition here with this beautiful amethyst. You deserve the very best. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I hope that gave you some comfort or clarity or guidance. Um, next week, I probably won't be um, doing a video. I've got some family visiting, so it should be the week after. Thanks, bye. Okay, hey, and welcome to your reading if you chose group number three. Um, and I'm going to start off with the charms. This is a tricky reading. As always, group three, you do not disappoint. <laughs> All right, so where do I start here? Now, I'll start with the bell because it came up in all three. Everyone got the bell and I kind of knew that would happen once I saw it the second time. I'm like, okay, it's, it's a big message. It's a sort of similar, different situations, but similar energies through these readings of lifting self up out of something, having blessings coming in to help you lift up out of something, perhaps. This is a, a message of, of, of uh, good news or some sort of blessing, assistance coming your way. Um, now we have... A padlock heart and it was sort of fell like this in reverse with the um, what I would call the devil charm so there's some sort of attachment or binding or situation that you are locked into and you maybe you're having trouble getting yourself out of or you're still working on trying to get out of it and unbind it unlock it free yourself it could be something that really brings you down maybe there's this charm um that speaks about your wholeness and purity and something on the outside trying to get in or something trying to affect you um and then we've got the nail here so it's uh, that nail in the coffin it's the end of something it is that ten of swords which also came out you know it's a, some tarot some associated with tarot um we have beautiful intuitive strong guidance one uh, charms here with, with the owl it's your intuition and wisdom and seeing through the darkness your amethyst so again your intuition using your third eye and then the lapis lazuli which is about communicating clearly from an intuitive place and and being directed by um by your guides and knowing that the situations that are happening are you know highest accordance with your path and what you need um this is very i've always seen this as aligning with um, your highest self's wisdom, aligning with um, with God's will and allowing yourself to be assisted. Um, we have the dolphins uh, reversed, so it could be a connection that's coming to an end or some sort of, the, there's an, an element of 
joy being sucked out of the situation or, or you, maybe it used to be fulfilling, fun and, and friendly and it's not anymore. And then we have this beautiful um, flower. It's, it, it speaks about connection or what could be women's circles or things like that where a community comes together and shares knowledge and it's this beautiful um, collaboration sort of energy and it's in reverse as well. So, you know, that could really speak to the end of a situation as well. Now, we'll jump straight into the tarot. We have the Two of Wands and the Six of Wands, the Three of Wands and the Three of Swords. Now, yeah, this is definitely a pivotal moment. Both, all three readings have that energy where big change is upon us. It is the month of it. Um, now, this pivotal moment is, is you're really, I feel, looking at the past as well here and the future and really like in this place of looking back, looking forwards, like really what's coming with me, what's staying behind, um, really looking at what hasn't served you in this recent situation and really wanting to... Um, wanting to move forward and be successful like how can you move this out of this situation it's almost like you want to take something from this i just get this feeling you want to take something from the past with you and maybe that's not meant to come with you you want to shift it and shape it and make it come with you that may apply for some people um there um also could be i don't want to make these love readings that is for tuesday but it could also be um we have got energy here that does talk about breakup energy or uh, some sort of marriage dissolving. It could literally be going through the courts to uh, um, finish up that sort of family court, um, marriage court sort of a divorce situation. Some sort of there's definitely potential here for um, this to be a legal situation. Could be something that needs to be resolved, uh, and you're seeking success or seeking retribution or you're seeking something. Uh, waiting for your results to come in about that. You feel like you know you will be successful. You've done what you need to do to ensure that or you've made sure you've taken the steps to lift up out of this or you're aware of those steps are maybe. Now in the challenge we've got the Hierophant, Nine of Swords, Four of Swords. Yeah, this situation may, may, may be feel, making you feel stuck or it has been really worried about this situation and how it's going to work out for you. The Hierophant can be those court situations and organizations, um, powers that be and such. It could be a decision coming through that you're nervous about or um, this can be a marriage situation that you're worried about, um, something that's really keeping you up at night and bothered and uh, maybe you're having dreams and nightmares about it. There's a lot of mental anguish here. There's a lot of heartache energy. Um, needing to step back from a situation here and look at the higher guidance. There's a, but there's a lot of processing that needs to be done here. What are all these for? Damn, I don't know what I pulled these for. <gasps> I think maybe... It's similar energy. Nine of Swords, Six of Wands again. I'll just leave them aside. I'm not sure what they were for. Um, in the uh, beliefs area, we have the Eight of Swords reverse. I like this. I like this. We've got the Sun and the Death card. So you are aware that you can free you can free yourself and are in the process of freeing yourself from a situation and um, transforming the situation and breathing light into it, breathing healing into it, taking it from a place of darkness back into light, liberating the situation in one way or another. Um, liberating yourself perhaps out of this situation using the situation to grow using information that comes in to help you grow rather than um, be stuck any further there's this element of freeing yourself in the root of the issue we have the world card the two of cups the seven of cups so yeah this is if this is a marriage breakdown a relationship breakdown two of cups this is a disharmon disharmonious I think that's a word connection this is the world card talks about completion and victory and success we've got a lot of victory and success here change the end of something like um something that hasn't been harmonious or something that hasn't worked out or aligned with you it's the root of the issue is this situation was out of alignment that's the issue uh and it need it, there was a lesson to be learned here there is many lessons to be learned here there's so much wisdom to be gained here uh, and that may be confusing for you. Maybe you're still trying to figure out what that is and sitting with it still. Maybe there's a lot of um, a lot of elusive qualities to this situation, a lot of uncertainty. Um, still trying to gather information, I do feel. I wonder if these were 
three of cups. Where's three of cups belong? Mm. I think it's here. There's this desire to... Um, there's, there's, there's such a desire to grow and learn from this situation and not be held in, um, you know, that Nine of Swords, Four of Swords energy where you're stuck and powerless. The Eight of Swords, I do believe, came reversed. In the recent past, we have Four of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So, yeah, there could be a disappointment or a setback or something that um, has caused you to want to protect self or, or step back or, or shut it down a little bit. I think I wanted to get an extra card on that. I'll deck oh well this one will do the emperor so yeah this could be an a what am I, a hanged man this could be an authority a decision being made yeah i do feel this court energy here it could be a court it could be a fatherly figure as well somebody a masculine energy perhaps in an, in an authoritative position that um or you may be the masculine that's in this authority position that you're you're needing to um there's this need for authority there's this need for protection there's this need for um def maybe defensiveness um like it thanks group three <laughs> don't know <laughs> maybe you don't know i don't know maybe we all don't know <laughs> near future we have seven of seven of wands five of wands and a six of swords defensive energy um, conflict energy and moving through something really tumultuous and difficult and hard there's a lot of releasing but it's like there's a reluctance to release as well it's like the situation is still happening maybe it's like still unfolding to the point where you're not in the stage of release yet you'd like to get there maybe you'd like to be past this already you'd like to see the other side of this month already <laughs> Um, but yeah, there is movement forward for you. There may be in this time going through the conflict or in yet more of that to come, having to lift yourself up out of situations and not engage in, in, in the drama, um, uh, but really can move yourself away from it, uh, release it and not engage, not don't fall, don't fall down into it, lift self up. You're aware of it. you you know how, you know how to transform now. Something, something, something comes to you or some information has come to you that gives you what you need. You're like, I know, I get it now. Maybe that applies. The um, self-deception, we have beautiful Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. So you are aware that you, yeah, it's almost like that I get it now energy as well. It's like you're a very accomplished person with, um, you, you understand these cycles, you understand, I feel like you see this through the situation for what it is as well. I feel a lot of perceptive energy here in the um, Queen of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is, is is sort of what tells me that in that, yes, the Queen of Pentacles is very accomplished, but also willing to learn and willing to stay open to possibility and willing to put in the work and, you know, get down there and, and do the other hard yards or whatever it is, do the um, do the dirty work to, to continue to build. It's not, there's no slacking off sort of energy here. Like you just, you keep on going. There's no slacking off. That's what I feel. Um, it's really a masterful energy, really like, um, it's a very shining energy. It shows like in the face of any challenge that you're just, you're using the skill set you have. And I feel like it's a great example to those around you. Maybe there's a, a, a there's a lot of feminine energy. It could be daughters and sisters or it could, it could be that sort of, uh, family dynamics here. Mm. We've got, uh, for star signs, we've got Aries, Libra. Taurus, um, Leo, Aquarius, and we do have Capricorn, I think. Anyway, I'll move on now to the way others are perceiving you, and so we have the Fool, the Tower reversed, and the Nine of Wands. Maybe there was a some sort of near miss, or you've avoided a catastrophe here um, through your own, um, what's the word? Endur not endurance, um, resilience or some, some sort of, yeah, you are resilient. We get that here a lot. You're, you've been resilient in this situation, perhaps. Um, God, this is a tricky, tricky reading. Oof, I don't even know if I can post it. <laughs> Oof, you know, well, we'll just go for it and trust. So, um, 
Yeah, you're you're at this point where it's um, out with the old, in with the new. Like it's a it's so pivotal. It's release. It's in releasing. It's not. I just see you at a doorway, but not there yet. Like there's maybe there's a little bit further to go for this situation, and <clears throat> you're still in it. I just feel like you're still in it. That's all. You but you're getting out of it, or you're lifting up. You're moving. Seven of Wands is totally liberating. Um, that's all this adversity and, and challenges coming at you, and you're like, no, get back. I've got this. I'm 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 not engaging, or I'm not doing this. I'm I'm up. I'm out. <clears throat> Um, advice, the star, ten of swords, and the page, uh, ace of wands. Endings and beginnings, big time. Have hope, trust in the endings and beginnings that are happening in your life right now. Trust in them. The we, yeah, we had that nail with the ten of swords. It's it's enough is enough. It's the last nail in the coffin in this situation. Um, maybe you're approaching that point. Um, but yeah, there is a new, there is new vitality that comes in. There's a new, there's, it, when one door closes, another opens. It's, it's not just the, the end and that's it. It's something else will take its place. Some new, new energy comes in. And with the star card, it's really saying to just have hope and trust in the healing process. Trust as it unfolds. The outcome, queen of wands, eight of cups four of wands walking away from what doesn't serve you emotionally choosing joy and connection and and being in communities and in connections that are supportive and healing and nurturing to you this also could talk about um engaging in healing modalities or, or um maybe you're you're feeling guided to get some healing done to help you through this it could be that sort of energy. Queen of Wands is, is so confident and just, it really, after a Seven of Wands situation, it's like, yeah, of course, of course you're going to be outcome with the Queen of Wands. You're going to lift yourself up and be like, no, I've got this. I'm so powerful. Nobody can walk on me. Nobody can tell me what. I know my truth. And this is really, like, the Queen of Wands is beautiful, you know, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries, a fire energy. It's creative, and it's got a message to share, and it's a powerful magnetic message. It's, it's the rings of truth. And that truth is the decision to walk away from what doesn't serve and to only have healthy connections or to move into more healthy connections or to... <laughs> it's so it, I just feel I don't know what I feel in this reading it's always that way with group 3 though I just don't even know <laughs> alright Kingfisher poise prosperity happiness I am rich with abundance blessings and grace it started reading I hope you can still hear me well Positive changes are due to happen in an area you are currently concerned about. This may be your love life, finances, living arrangements, relationships, or matters of emotional, psychological, and physical well-being. Put your faith in brighter days ahead. Open your heart. Give yourself permission to be free. The simple practice of mindfully play, paying attention to one task at a time will help you relax and recognize the blessings that seek entry into your world. Um, what would it take to make you laugh and feel joy again? Embrace this. I love that. I love that. We have peace, healing, gentleness, and non-judgment. Uh, and I feel like those key words, yeah, speak to this whole reading of you finding peace. And, and yeah, where was it? It's here somewhere. Oh, maybe she went back in. There are a couple of cards I took too many. Queen of Cups did come out earlier, and that's what I was looking for. And it's that it speaks to that gentleness that you need in your in your life, in the people around you. And there's it may that may not be coming from everybody. In the um, we also have Seal of Clairsentience, clarity, knowledge, um, and channeling and unification. Listening to and trusting that guidance that comes in. The, the Queen of Wands is a channel. She is a guide. She is definitely this this sort of energy it's it's definitely tapping into your psychic power and allowing it to direct you goodness that rain's getting loud um we have black tourmaline for protection lapis lazuli communicate clearly and also um we had lapis in the crystals so um 
you know, not only can communicate, but to connect with that guidance that's coming in and take those practical steps to align. Uh, we have blue lace agate, soothe. So giving yourself peace and healing, um, whether that's going to a healer or, or taking up a new modality or something that brings you release or relief or soothing or healing. Mandala, and the feeling I got with that was ritualistic type healing. Again, trying new things to just to take care of yourself at the moment. Um, and obsidian, unblock and protect, very similar to black tourmaline. So we are protecting self against attachment energies or lower energies, lower vibrational energies. Things that make you feel stuck and, and, and bound. So I will leave it there and I hope that reading uh, gave you some sort of clarity and comfort or guidance. I hope it didn't confuse you as much as it confused me. And um, next week I will probably not be putting a reading out. I have family visiting, so maybe the week after. And um, I look forward to speaking to you then. Bye.